so still now. Ow! My finger, eh? Who swiped my thimble? <laughs> All right. At ease, at ease, girls. Now, here's the duty roster for the first shift. Willing and happy due to cutting. Christy in charge of seams, Fuji on buttonholes, Tinker on bodices, and Virgil got the hems. Hey, watch it. Just drop the stitch there, Virg. Okay, group. That takes care of us. Now, what do you do? What do you mean? What do I do? I'm the floor manager. Look, group, if we're going to knock out all these sarongs on time, we're going to need some Indians around here, not all chiefs. Listen, we do all the work and you make all the loot. You say that again, we're always getting the short end. Now, now, fellow workers, we all split the profits. After I take off a slight charge for my supervision, of course. Yeah. Sure, Tink. That's the way we've always been doing it. Yeah. And I say, that's taxation without representation. It ain't fair! <laughs> what do you mean, it ain't fair? You never complained before. Knock it off, you bunch of apes! Oh, now, what's all this screaming around here? Don't ask me, Skip. Talk to our leader, Admiral Gruber, here. Admiral Gruber? Gee, congratulations. I didn't even know you made Chief Petty Officer. What? You didn't mean it. Come on, what's the matter here? Can't you South Sea seems to just get along? It's all Gruber's fault, Skip. We're having this sarong sale for the nurses on Saturday, and he's trying to give us a fast shuffle. Well, it was my idea to put on a fashion show. I got a right to be the head tailor. Yeah, well, it was my idea to heist the parachutes. He's always giving us the short end. Yeah, yeah hold your short end. All right, all right, all right. Now, look, Tink. All I can say is that we're out here fighting for democracy, right? So if you don't agree with Groove, then I say stick up for your rights. You see, you're listening but to me. stick up for him quietly. Because I got rights, too. It's my siesta time! <laughs> Man, I have just one last thing to say. Remember, a family that sews together grows together. <laughs> Made that up. <laughs> around. No moron. Binghamton, who are you calling a moron? Ah, uh, uh, Admiral Reynolds. I don't know. No, no, nobody, sir. My aide is here, Admiral, and he was, he was going to take a coffee break, and I told him, uh, I, I said, uh, put some more on. <laughs> oh, sir, you called me. You... <laughs> Delay the nonsense. This is important. Comsapac is sending an inspection team to check combat readiness of all PTs in an efficiency test on Saturday. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Efficiency test for the PTs on Saturday. You make sure your men are ready. Any crew that doesn't shape up will receive an immediate transfer back to Ariaki for retraining and reassignment. Do you read me? Oh, uh, uh, loud and clear, sir. Loud and clear. Uh, retraining and, uh, and reassignment. Yes, sir. I'll... Yes, I'll do that, sir. Get, get on the ball. Yes, uh, uh, keep a tight ship. Yes, sir. And get the lead out of... Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Admiral. Thank you. Retraining and reassignment? That could be a good way to get rid of Commander McHale. Oh, so who's going to wait till Saturday? I'm going to have McHale and his parachute grabbers in the brig within the hour. Get me my hat. Yes, sir. And get the door. The door. Go out the door. I'm going to trust you. <laughs> Scream, scream. Everybody, big prima donna around here. What's the matter, Fooch? They at it again? Again? It never stopped. Only gets worse. I head for the other side of the island for a little peace and quiet. Maybe I even escape. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't do anything uh, rash there, Fooch. Come on, Chuck. Let's go over and see if we can stop him. Uh, well, Skip, I better put in for another cook. If he's oh, going to escape. Come on. <laughs> I'm telling you, 
telling you, sarongs with shoulder straps are more commercial. Yeah, and it's the latest rage. Maybe in Timbuktu, shoulder straps went out with buggy whips. Besides that, they ain't chick. Gee, they ain't that either. Who are you listening to them cockamamie couturiers? And I tell you guys that this model designed by Gruber should sell like mad. Just look at that. Full bodice, a tapered hemline. And I say my backless model with the puff sleeves and the Peter Pan collar be the smash of the season. Peter Pan collar? Ever. Dude, no class. It's too gauche. That's your opinion. You're all wet. What do you slobs know? What do you know? That's yeah, what I like to know. Right, all right, all right. Will you cut off the noise valves, all of you? Now then, what is the crisis this time? Honey Carnegie here is trying to tell us what's vogue and what isn't, Skip. Well, anybody would want to put Peter Pan collars on a sarong. Yeah, well, Peter Pan collars. All right, all right, all right, one at a time. One at a time. Go ahead. That crew's bossing me around all the time. For a whole year, he's played the Lone Ranger while I've had to play Tonto. Could have been a lot worse. Could have made you play sober. Please don't give them any more ideas. Anyway, Skip. When I calmly try to tell them that... Calmly my foot. Yeah, Skip. He was yelling at poor old Groove. Well, he had to. Sure, Groover never listens to anybody. All right, all right, quiet. Now then, Groove, what's your side? Well, Skip, I got nothing to say. Oh, that'll be the day. <laughs> Getting everyone from the base out here on Saturday to sell him sarongs was, was my idea. And if he ain't grateful... So, now, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Would you listen to that, Elroy? That's music to my ears. That's a gorgeous symphony. That's simply gorgeous. Don't miss a note. Don't miss a note. Bring your ice pipe down. Yeah, we need a little togetherness. Remember, a tight ship is a happy ship. A and those other Navy slogans. It's the only way I'd ever work with him again if I was tight. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you can start beating the sidewalks. You're fired. You can't fire me, because I quit. And furthermore, I'm going into business for myself. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, you meatheads want free enterprise? Go ahead and have it. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I'm washing my hands of this whole mess. Uh, I better go show him when the soap is. <laughs> it's cut and dried, sir. I think we can stick them for 30 days. You're not paid to think. You're only a lieutenant. <laughs> Why should we stick them for 30 days when we can stick them forever? You saw them. They were all at each other's throats. Why don't we just leave them that way through the PT efficiency tests on Saturday? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if they fail, they'll be shipped out for reassignment. No, sir. That's brilliant. Captain Binghamton, you are brilliant, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Elroy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Skip, can I borrow your toothpick? Hey, what's going on? I don't know, but it looks like somebody's trying to put a divided highway right through the middle of our island. <laughs> and I'm going to find out who. Oh, wait a minute, Skip. Safety first. Always walk facing the traffic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, what's all this? The walls of Jericho? <laughs> all right, come on, you bunch of hem stitches. Start talking. What's with this white line? Don't blame us, Skip. They wanted it this way. No, we didn't, there Skip. There right there, Skip. Don't try to pass the buck. Hey, hey, you're on the side of the line. Mr. Parker, would you kindly tell Mr. Bell he's standing on private property? <laughs> Mr. Gruber wants me to tell you you're standing on private property. Oh, yeah, well, you can tell Mr. Gruber. All Eddie. right, knock it off. Skipper said to knock it off, and you better tell Mr. Goober that, too. Okay, now listen, you swabs. For your information, you're still in the Navy, and there's still a war going on. Yeah, and if you don't believe him, just take a look at that Nip Zero. That'll prove... Nip Zero? Hey, fire a pee Come on, boys, let's get outside. Take the crack at him. Let's go. Somebody step to my troop. Let me get a crack at him. your sights why'd you stop shooting it was on their side of the island <laughs> oh no no i heard it but i don't believe it <laughs> all right all right that does it 
Now, you schlockmeisters can cut to each other's throat in a price war, and I don't care. But when it comes to a shooting war, and you won't cooperate, then I close up your shop forever. Finito! As of right now, you two guys are out of business. Bankrupt, finished, kaput, and that is an order! <laughs> Just think, another 24 hours and I'll be rid of Mikhail forever. Then I can really enjoy this war. <laughs> How about that, F.D.? Mac? Huh? Oh, Captain Williams, this is something awful has happened, sir. I know! Oh. And if I'm damaged, I'm going to have you up on charges for striking a superior officer. Well, I apologize, sir, but I thought you'd want to know this right away. Commander Mikhail has called off the sarong sale tomorrow. Call it off! Oh, he can't do that. How can he... Did he find out about the efficiency test? Oh, oh, no, sir, no, sir. We kept it a secret from him, just as you ordered, sir. Oh, this is a foul blow, Carpenter. I'd counted on those pirates staying at each other's throats right up until the... But now with the sail called off, Mikhail might even get them... Yet, on the other hand, if Mikhail were called away until after the test begins tomorrow... Called away, sir? But Commander Mikhail isn't going anywhere. Hmm? And neither are you at that vacuum you call a brain. <laughs> I have a hunch that a little birdie is going to order Mikhail to Baraga for a 24-hour refresher course on combat communications. And while he's gone, uh, need I say more, Captain? Oh, sir, you are a smart little birdie. <laughs> Shut up and get off of my face. <laughs> Captain speaking, get me Mikhail. Smart little birdie. You're a cuckoo. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. On the ball. Tight ship. Get the lead out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Bye. Well, gentlemen, looks like I'm flying up to Baraga. But why? You don't need a refresher course. It don't make sense. Uh, well, ours not the reason why. Gruber, get the gig ready. And listen, you bunch of monkeys. No sarong sale and no squabbling, you hear? Yeah, sure thing, Skip. Nothing would have ever happened if it wasn't for a certain party. Don't put the finger on me. If you hadn't been so greedy... Ah, 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 ah. While I am gone, the order of the day will be togetherness. <laughs> Don't forget it. Now get out of here while I pack. All right, now you men heard the skipper a little togetherness. Now let's have the buddy system. Buddy up. Come on, boys. Two by two. Let's go. Move out. Don't care a buddy, Virgil? I got them together, Skip. <laughs> Bye, Skip. Bye. Have a nice trip. Well, I sure hate goodbyes. <laughs> well, get ready for another one. Bingham don't coming. I going. Oh. Bye. Oh, boy. Now, uh, now, look, you guys, don't panic. Just uh, everybody snap to it. Look, shape ship. Uh, uh, ship shop. Shop ship. We'll do it. Try attention. <laughs> At ease, man. At ease, man! Really in the order, sir. <laughs> oh, good, good, sir. Uh, actually, uh, we can uh, belay the uh, formalities. This is just a social call. <laughs> it is? Yeah. Gee, Wally, I didn't even think you liked this. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you think I loved Oh, for goodness sake. After all, we we're all in this war together, aren't we? Yes, sir. <laughs> that means uh, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Well, if you want me to, sir, I'd hear where it works. That's a great sense of humor this morning, honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, Jackie, my boy, you see, I'm, uh, I'm in sort of a bind. I promised my wife that I would send her a genuine South Sea sarong, and I, I don't seem to be able to find one. I, I don't suppose any of you men uh, might know where uh, I could find one, hmm? <clears throat> uh, uh, yes, Lester. Let's, uh, let's put it this way, uh, Captain. If I was in the sarong business, which I ain't, I might just be able to fix you up, but which I can't, providing I didn't object to a guy making a slight profit, but which I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, no, no, why should I object, Buster? Actually, you'd be doing me a favor. To say nothing of all the uh, sailors and nurses over at the base are just dying to get their hands on a genuine Teratupa sarong. Uh, uh, well, I, I beg your pa pardon, Captain, but you see, uh, Commander McHale's... Ah! Don't you mention that man to me. Don't mention him. Ah! Tyrant, that fellow. Tyrant. I'm the base commander here, and I, I feel that my personnel should be allowed to indulge in a little free enterprise. Now, uh, 
shall we say that the sale starts at uh, 1200 noon tomorrow? Huh? <laughs> Well, Elroy, let's go. We mustn't interfere with the production line. So long, Wally. <laughs> All right, men, you're the captain. Now let's man our sewing stations. Ready your thimbles. Knit one. Pearl two. Full stitch ahead. <laughs> so I think about two dozen of those summer lightning models will do for a start. Are yeah, you kidding? No self respect and no speed. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. Yeah, well, I'll tell Ah, oh, please let them keep it up till 1300 tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's uh, mid Pacific Standard Time, sir. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. And a good morning it is. And welcome to the premiere showing of our summer collection of informal attire for my lady and my chick. <laughs> of strapless simplicity. No, the subdued shade of shocking peep in direct contrast to Goonie Bird's egg blue. <laughs> and it's all yours for the unbelievable stipend of... Attention! Several play, attention! <laughs> what you have just seen is strictly for the peasants. Only from the Maison Gruber can you obtain the dynamic, the daring, the divine Paris look. If you please. Hey, hey. And the prices? They are cut even lower than the neckline. <laughs> Only $14. And that is factory cost. Ignore the gentleman with the big mouth. We're marking our goods down to $9.95. I know attention. Do not get stuck with late junk. And we will part with our originals for only $6.95. Uh -huh. yeah. And our garments are guaranteed not to wear out. Yeah. Show them, Mamselle. Congratulations, Wally. That's the third boat to come through with flying colors. Yeah. Who's next? Oh, that's uh, Lieutenant Baker in the 94. She's coming around for the target run now. Almost 1300 You get a jeep and you go over to the airstrip and bring McHale here as soon as he lands. Oh, yes, sir. And when shall we send for the rest of the cruiser? I'll give him a few more minutes. I want to make sure that they've finished cutting each other's prices and they're ready to start cutting each other's throats. <laughs> <laughs> and so, my friends, with each magnificent garment is a low price of only $3, a special gift for the ladies. A one-ounce bottle of genuine French perfume. Nuit de Teratupa. He's loving you fine, folks. That's ordinary jungle juice. And we're giving a quart with each sarong for two bucks even. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, let's make it a buck and a half, two bottles of perfume, and we'll throw in a free ride around the lagoon. All right, folks, come and get it. A buck even and a quarter hooch and a date with this beautiful model. Will you let that sailor through? Come right in, boy. I see you like a straight red dot. Well, there you are, son. You're a good winner. Oh, uh, attention, as you were, everybody. Quiet, okay, at ease. All right, everybody off the island, the sale's over. Oh. What do you mean over, Mr. Parker? We ain't sold nothing yet. Yeah, give us a chance, Mr. Parker. Oh, sorry, guys. Captain Bingham has orders. He wants his main side right away. Let's go. Let's move out. Please. Okay, folks. Same time the Mars. Same place. Same prices, huh? Jeez. All right, come on, man. Now, let's go. Let's move. Let's step lively. Let's... Oh, uh, you better stay here. You're out of uniform. <laughs> the 94 boat did an excellent job. Let's see, Wally. That brings us to the... The 73 boat. Let's do it. 1,300. <laughs> Oh, there's the skipper. Uh, thanks, driver. Captain, how do you do, sir? Say, uh, thanks for the buggy ride, sir. I thought maybe I was going to have to hitchhike back all the way from the airfield. Oh, no, no, no. No chance of that, Mikhail. I wouldn't dream of letting anything interfere with your little date with destiny. Destiny? <laughs> I presume you're ready to go, Mikhail. Incidentally, where's your boat? Uh, the PT-73? Why, back on the island, sir, I guess. And that's where you're wrong, Mikhail. Here she comes now. I sent for her, personally. I'm anxious to see you put her through the efficiency test, Mikhail. If you do half as well as the other boats, we can forget about any crew from Taratupa getting shipped out for retraining. And reassignment. <laughs> so that's the ticket, huh, Captain? You shanghaied me so we wouldn't have any time to prepare for the test, hoping we'd flunk. 
Why, Mikhail, how could you accuse me of anything so dastardly? You got to bankrupt. You blow the house around, You're lying. Oh, hang up. Yeah, that's it. Hey, you guys are we going to have some togetherness. Together. 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 We work together. Well, Miguel, have a nice harmonious test run, and uh, don't forget to send me a postcard from your new base. All right, you screaming memes, knock it off! Yeah, when'd you get back? Look, I'm warning you, feather merchants. Either you quit fighting and get right back on the ball, or sir, help me. I'll strangle you with your own sarongs. Now, let's move out. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> All right, that target plane is starting its run. Stand by the fire, Virg. Uh, something's wrong, Skip. The gun's jammed. Well, I'm jamming. The target plane's practically overhead. I can't, Skip. It's all rusted up. Aha, uh -huh, rusted up. But your sewing machine, you were oiling. But this gun... Oh, I ought to... Chuck, get over there. Give a hand, will you? <laughs> it's coming this way. Take cover. <laughs> I'm coming around for the torpedo run. Now see if you can do something right. Gee, I thought that depth charge had good trajectory. See when. <laughs> All right, crew boy, it's up to you. I'll put that number one fish right in a barrel. Just hold a steady skip for ten more seconds, and old lovable Lester will. <laughs> hey, Tink, what's wrong with these engines? Sorry, skipper, the fuel pump's stuck. Well, I'm sticking to Sarong South for the best! Well, you don't have to hurry, Skip. Looks like somebody else is taking their turn at the target. Boy, they lousy shots, too. Their torpedo's coming right at, uh... Us? <laughs> nip up, nip up off the port valve! Oh, boy, now we're really up the creek without a paddle. Boy, I'll say. Hey, any of you guys got a paddle? It's perfect, Skip. I got it fixed. Grover, stand by to fire number two. Number two? What's wrong with number one? Because number two is pointed right at them. Now quit arguing and fire! Hey, crew, what's wrong with that torpedo? It's like awful funny. I try to warn you, Skip. I had all my merchandise stuffed in that tube. <laughs> oh, no! Those blasted sarongs again! Yeah, boy, how embarrassing can it get? <laughs> we can still nail them. If... Crew, what do you got in the number one tube? More sarongs? Not this time, Skipper. Just a big fat fish full of TNT. All right, then stand by to fire. Range 1000. Fire! <laughs> this is the worst marksmanship in naval history. They're going to miss the target by a thousand yards. Target? Who cares about the target? They're going to score a bullseye on a nip sub. Oh, sub? What is a sub doing out here? <laughs> the luckiest card artist ever walked in two shoes. Oh, uh, there's nothing to it, Skip. Just a bit of American know-how and free enterprise. <laughs> I'm going to recommend the 73 boat for a unit citation. Unit citation? Well, they didn't hit the target, Captain. They didn't pass the test. Wally, if that's what comes from guzzling torpedo juice, I'm going to recommend they serve it to every PT crew in the Pacific. <laughs> Why me? Why is it always me? <laughs> Just hold still now. Ow! My finger, eh? Who swiped my thimble? All right. At ease, at ease, girls. Now, here's the duty roster for the first shift. Willie and Happy do the cutting. Christy in charge of seams, Fuji on buttonholes, 
Think around bodices, and Virgil got the hems. Hey, watch it. Just drop the stitch there, Virg. Okay, group. That takes care of us. Now, what do you do? What do you mean? What do I do? I'm the floor manager. Look, group, if we're going to knock out all these sarongs on time, we're going to need some Indians around here, not all chiefs. Listen, we do all the work and you make all the loot. You say that again, we're always getting the short end. Now, now, fellow workers, we all split the profits. After I take off a slight charge for my supervision, of course. Yeah. Sure, Tink. That's the way we've always been doing it. Yeah. And I say that's taxation without representation. It ain't fair! <laughs> What do you mean it ain't fair? You never complained before. Knock it off, you bunch of apes. Oh, now, what's all this screaming around here? Don't ask me, Skip. Talk to our leader, Admiral Gruber, here. Admiral Gruber? Gee, congratulations. I didn't even know you made Chief Petty Officer. What? You didn't mean it. God, what's the matter here? Can't you South Sea seems to just get along? It's all gross for Skip. We're having this sarong sale for the nurses on Saturday, and he's trying to give us a fast shuffle. Well, it was my idea to put on a fashion show. I got a right to be the head tailor. Yeah, well, it was my idea to heist the parachutes. He's always giving us the short end. Yeah, I'll give you a short end. All right, all right. Now, look, Tink. All I can say is that we're out here fighting for democracy, right? So if you don't agree with Groove, then I say stick up for your rights. You see, you're listening but to me. You. Stick up for him quiet. Because I got rights, too. It's my siesta time! <laughs> Man, I have just one last thing to say. Remember, a family that sews together grows together. <laughs> Made that up. <laughs>